Hello and welcome to my channel, It's a Tailored Life. Today's video is a cleaning motivation video that just shows you guys what I do on a daily to help keep the house clean. I am a stay at home mom. I have two boys, my older son Jackson is seven and I have a two year old named Lincoln. He goes to daycare part time while my older son Jackson, he goes to school. These are just some tasks that I do throughout the day that help me make sure that the house is clean so when they come home in the evening, it's a lot easier for me to get things done around the house knowing that I've already put a lot of things away and have everything organized and prepared for the remainder of the day. So normally I like to start in our family room area and our dining room area. This space is very high traffic for us. My family spends a lot of time here. We are doing homework here, eating in this area, watching movies, spending family time in this area all the time. Now normally I do like to try and clean this area before I go to bed at night, but sometimes I will go to bed before the rest of my family does because I am a morning person. I get up really early in the morning, but I also go to bed really early in the evening. So if my son and my husband are out watching a movie on this area, I will kind of just leave things as they are until the next morning. I don't really bother them about it because I don't mind cleaning it up. But also this area does get a little bit of traffic in the morning before school. Both of my boys, they come out into this area to get dressed eat breakfast just hang out on the couch while we are waiting to leave like depending on what we have going on that morning I think on this particular day it was a little bit of both like mess from the night before and also from that morning now normally in the mornings with my boys I just focus on getting them dressed fed and out the door and I handle all of my cleaning once I drop them off my two-year-old does not go for the full day he goes part-time so I try to get a lot done while he is gone before it's time for me to go pick him up. This definitely helps me a lot in the evenings as far as like prepping dinner, helping out with homework, bath time, like that whole crazy time of the day. Now, right now I am cleaning out my boys' play area. We have had this play area for a while and I love it. It helps contain some of the toys to one area. I do let them bring toys out sometimes, but we try to keep everything in here. And about once or twice a month, I do like to just get in this play area, put all their toys in a bin. It does not stay like this, which is okay because it's just limited to this area anyway. But what this does allow me to do is go in and see if there's anything that I need to get rid of. I do try to like when they are not home, get rid of any toys that they don't play with anymore that they may have outgrown, but also like McDonald's toys, toys that they get in like Happy Meals or like little throwaway toys that may come in a party gift bag that they don't play with very often or they easily break or things like that. I just like to go in and get rid of those and any mess that may be in here. We don't allow them to eat in this play area, but some way, somehow, like a goldfish or a chip always winds up in this area. So I like to just go in and clean it out and make sure there isn't anything in here that should not be in here. And if you're new here, I just want to take a quick second to give a real introduction of myself. My name is Taylor. I am a wife and a stay-at-home mom. I have two boys, like I said before. My older son, Jackson, is seven. He's in second grade this year. We just started back to school. I live in South Florida, so let me know in the comments where you're from. If you are new here, also say hi. Let me know your name. I love chatting and getting to know everyone. My younger son, Lincoln, is two years old. He goes to daycare part-time, and when he's not in daycare, he is usually at home with me. 
He recently started daycare about six months ago and we've really been loving it. I just wanted to do something with him where he could get out of the house. I could kind of get things done around the house because I felt like as he was getting older with staying home with me, he was getting kind of bored. We would do things like go to the library and go to the park during the day, but I did want him to have some interaction with other kids his age more frequently. And he is really loving daycare. I can definitely say I have seen such an improvement in his vocabulary, his behavior. He It seems like he's maturing so fast, which is like very bittersweet because on like one hand, he's my baby. But on the other hand, like I see him growing up. So it's just really bittersweet this time, <laughs> this time right now because soon I know like in the blink of an eye, he'll be starting pre-K and he'll be in elementary school as well. But let me know in the comments, what did you all do this summer and are you ready for fall? I still have up a lot of my summer decor because like I said, I live in South Florida, so it definitely still feels like summer here. It does not feel like summer is ending anytime soon. Normally for us, it doesn't start to like cool down. And when I say cool down, I don't mean like a cold, <laughs> a cold breeze at all just not as hot as it normally is until about October. But I will definitely be decorating for fall soon, probably like mid-September, towards the end of September, I'll be pulling out all of my fall decor. It's just right now with like back to school, it's still feeling very summery right now. So we are just gonna enjoy the last few days of summer here. I feel like summer ends so much earlier now because of social media and not to say that I don't like it because I definitely love it I love fall I love pumpkin spice everything I love fall decor all of that but still just enjoying the summer right now we actually spent time outside with friends yesterday just doing some water activities with the kids they were having like water balloons and water slides and everything it was a really good time but now we are moving into the kitchen and my kitchen gets so messy so quickly so I'm constantly cleaning this area just putting things away and again like I said in the mornings it's such a mad dash to get out of the house on time and get everyone dropped off that I don't mind like leaving the mess until I get back because I know when I get back both boys will be out of the house and I can get all of the cleaning that I need to get done just like peacefully I will usually like turn on a YouTube video just to have some cleaning motivation company with me but if I'm moving around the house I will turn on music or a podcast or an audiobook lately I have been doing a lot of audiobooks and podcasts just because those really keep my attention but also keep me focused on cleaning at the same time if that makes sense um, so let me know in the comments like what are you guys currently listening to if you are listening to any audiobooks and any podcasts? But I also want you guys to let me know in the comments, please, what shows you guys are watching right now. My husband and I are looking for new shows to watch. I feel like all of our shows that we really enjoy are either on break right now and we don't know where they're returning or they're not returning anytime soon. Like, we love Yellowstone, which we don't know when that's coming back. We also really love Stranger Things. Don't have a date yet. I don't think there's a date yet on when that show is coming back. We also have our reality TV shows like um, Love and Marriage Huntsville, which is on a break right now, and Bell Collective. They are also on a break right now. So we just don't really have anything to watch right now. We recently started 1883, which is the prelude to uh, Yellowstone. But we're just looking for something else to add to our nightly routine of a show that we watch together. So if you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comments. Take down your walls and let me ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, 
Now that I've started the dishes in the dishwasher, I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe down all of the counters and get the floors cleaned. This is like really important for me during my day when the kids are not home because once my kids get home, like that witching hour, because my kids are home before five, but between like five and 8 p.m. and my house just gets like really, really chaotic. And for me, the easiest thing that I can do is prep dinner before they get home and well, before my older son gets home. I usually try to prep or at least have in mind exactly what I'm gonna cook for dinner that day, have it all planned out and make it so that it's super easy for me to prepare and having the kitchen clean, especially the counters and the dishes, just makes that so much easier because literally from the time my son gets home from whatever activity he's doing that day, we have to do homework, we have to eat dinner, have the boys bathe. We try to spend some family time together because I just hate when it's just like homework, bath, dinner, bed. So I do try to make sure that we do have like some time together as a family where we all can just relax or go for a walk or something like that. So having the kitchen counters clean and the dishes clean definitely helps out with that a lot. And I also like to mop our family room area and our dining room area just about every other day. Well, I use the steam mop. I don't use like my regular bucket and a mop mop. Um, the steam mop is just super easy and convenient to use. I just changed the, um, I don't know what it's called, but like the cloth <laughs> piece. I make sure that I change that on it every single time that I use it because I have made the mistake of not changing it and it smells horrible and like if you try to mop with it, it just spreads the smell throughout the house. So I actually ordered like extras on Amazon so I always have plenty and I just like easily toss those in the wash. It helps keep the floors clean and it helps me not have to pull out the bucket in the mop very often but also with this steam mop I like that it's just hot steamy water because once we got our floors done I wanted to protect them for as long as possible and keep them nice and shiny and so I feel like I'm not doing any damage with this as opposed to like before when we first moved into our home and I would be cleaning and I just didn't know much about like taking care of floors or anything like that and I literally would be mixing like pine saw and bleach together in the bucket to clean the floors and I did not realize that it could over time be stripping the shine from the tile so now I'm very particular about cleaning the floors ever since we got our floors done I just want to protect this tile for as long as possible and this is another high traffic area for us this is my boys bathroom this bathroom goes through a lot every morning and every evening so my older son Jackson, he gets dressed on his own in the mornings. I do like peek in and check on him and help him out as needed. But for the most part, he kind of does it all on his own. So there's always like stuff left behind on the countertops because in the morning, like I said, it's such a mad dash to get out. I kind of just have him pick up what he can and leave everything else behind and I'll take care of it when he gets home. Now in, I mean, when I get home, not when he gets home. Now in the evenings, it is his responsibility to clean this area. What he does is after they take a bath, he makes sure that all of the dirty clothes are in the dirty clothes basket. Anything that's on the counter that's not supposed to be there, that it's put away, that is his responsibility every day. And he does pretty good about it, unless we have something going on where we got home pretty late and they just like took a bath and went to bed and I said that I would take care of it. But for the most part, he does really good about picking up this area. And then in the mornings, like I said, we're in such a rush that I'm like, don't worry about it. I'll take care of it. And I usually just come back in the morning once I'm back home and I clean up and just tidy up, make sure that everything is put away. I also clean their bathtub pretty often because they do take baths in here every night and because they do, they also have like toys and I'm just always worried about soap and things like that. So I do try to clean their bathtub, if not every day, every other day, just a very basic quick wipe down and rinse out. Now about once a week, I will do like a deep clean where I will actually like scrub the bathtub, the walls and everything like that. But just on a regular every day, just a quick wipe down. Same thing with the mirrors. I don't clean these every day. I usually clean the mirrors whenever I'm doing a deep clean in the bathroom, but if I'm ever in there just cleaning, I don't mind just giving the mirrors a quick wipe down. 
This is also our guest bathroom, so I don't mind cleaning it often either because if we ever have any guests pop by or stop by, like I know we have a clean space. I don't have to like freak out like, oh my goodness, what does the bathroom look like? Um, especially with having boys, I'm always cleaning the toilet because I'm always worried about it smelling like pee or anything in this area. So I'm always just wiping down the toilet and the area around the toilet on the floor. I'm just super insecure about it because I'm like, does it smell like pee in here? I'm always super worried. If you are a boy mom, let me know in the comments if you know that feeling. Now that the floors are all dry, I just wanted to come back and show you guys how nice it looks in this area, how clean it is, and ready for the boys to come home and <laughs> make a mess of it again, which is okay. I don't mind that. Like, I don't mind my family making messes and I don't mind cleaning them up. It's totally fine with me. But I'm gonna move into my bathroom really quickly. This is also an area that I always have to work on when I come back from dropping the boys off and before I go pick them up. So my bathroom, I get up really early in the morning. Like I said at the beginning of my video, I go to bed really early. But when I get up super early, my bathroom is connected to my bedroom. I try not to wake my husband up. So when I do my whole little get ready, skincare setup, everything, I pull things out, but I don't put everything away. And that is because I'm just trying to quickly get out of the bathroom and not make as much noise as possible so that I don't wake my husband. My two-year-old also co-sleeps with us. So I'm also trying not to wake him up because I wake up at about 5 a.m. every day. Sometimes earlier if I can, um, just for some me time, whether it's to just take a break and watch YouTube by myself or fold some laundry or edit a video. Like I like to have that me time. So I do like to be as quiet as possible so that I don't wake anyone in the house up. So I just get up, go in the bathroom, I get dressed, do my whole routine and I just leave things as they are because I know by the time I come back from dropping the boys off, my husband will be awake so I can just easily go back in and tidy and put everything back away. I also like to clean my bathroom just about every day anyway. I've talked about this before. My bathroom is really small so it looks very cluttered and messy very easily. And because we recently changed a lot of things in here and we have a lot of black and white, I feel like it's very easy for things to look dusty or dirty. So I like to just always go in every day and do a quick little wipe down. I don't scrub the toilet every day, but on this day I decided to go ahead and do it. I do it just about maybe every other day because it's such an easy task to do. So this just helps me keep the bathroom clean and like looking clean and not looking too cluttered and messy. So I took a back break after I cleaned the bathroom to go pick up my two-year-old Lincoln and then not long after that I went and I picked up my son Jackson and let me know in the comments if you are like this. I love to make up my bed every single day. Now because my husband stays in bed longer than I do, I don't have the opportunity to make up my bed right away as soon as I wake up. Also my two year old co-sleeps with us so he's also in the bed. So by the time I'm like up and moving around throughout the day, my bed is not completely empty. But I will make up my bed literally at any time of day. I don't care if it's 8 p.m. and I'm going to bed at 8.30, I will make up my bed. So I always enjoy like making up my bed. I just like the way that it makes my room feel. So whenever I'm doing a quick tidy up in my room, I do like to just start with making my bed. And this is my older son, Jackson, who is helping me. Lately, he has been enjoying being on camera. Like every time he sees me cleaning now, he's always offering to help. Like he's enjoying being on camera every chance that he gets. And now we are all done. I really hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and please make sure you hit that subscribe button if you have not done so already. I'll see you all next time. Bye.